We started this 42 years ago. Jerry was a PTA parent. I was a teacher at Burgoyne Avenue. Jerry was very involved with the school because his kids went there. And uh, it was more or less Jerry's idea, how can we help some needy kids? And uh, he approached me and we came up with uh, the idea of a walk. And Jerry, all the things that we do today, Jerry, before he retired from our organization, Jerry put in place. I, I call myself the road manager. Yes. I was a road manager, behind the scenes road yes. manager. We came up with the idea of walking 50 miles to raise money for Operation Santa Claus, and it worked, and we did. We walked 50 miles, and the following year we walked 60 miles, and we pick up sponsors, and it was it was uh, you know we would start the, the Tuesday night when school school got out, and we'd start at Tuesday night from McDonald's at about five o'clock, and it would go 24. McDonald's Fort Edward. Yeah, it would go 24 hours to the next day to like seven o'clock all night, and we had you know, people donating food to us. And Jerry, Jerry was the road manager. And we did it for 50, 60, 70, and 80 miles. And then the year we were supposed to do 90 miles, I got hurt, which turned out to be the best thing for this whole organization because we came up with other ideas. The rats, how we came up with the run to raise money. We had skate a We've sold raffle tickets at the Christmas parade before. There's so many things that we've done to raise money. Had a huge giant garage sale at the Glenisville Civic Center yeah. uh, back in the late 50s and early 80s maybe, and uh, we it was back. nickel and diming. And at that time, I said we got to find an easier way to make money, and we came up with similar to what WGY does with the Christmas Wish program. So we started our Hollywood, our uh, Hollywood. Holiday Hope Chest, kids helping kids uh, in each area of the area schools, and uh, it just was one of the biggest fundraising efforts that we had. Close to three million dollars having been raised in the, in the history of Operation Santa Claus. It probably helps at least 75,000 kids over that period of time. So it's an amazing, amazing project to raise that kind of money and spend that kind of money. And that ends up being about $50 per child. So mm -hmm. it's a great benefit to kids in the area. And this right here at Sam's Diner is our <laughs> is no question is our second biggest fundraiser every year now and i'll tell you what operation santa claus has to do to uh, uh benefit from that absolutely nothing pete brock runs his own show comes up with his own ideas and i'm looking at that in in the window he, this year his goal is twenty two thousand dollars and he comes up with something different every single year he has the clientele that comes in here every year that he sees every single morning my name is Peter Brock. I'm the owner-operator of Sam's Diner on Dix Avenue in Glens Falls, New York. We've been here for about 16 years. Uh, Sam's has been here for 66 years, so it's part of the community. Um, I started four years ago with Operation Santa Claus. Uh, I'm on the radio station WCKM every morning, live giving them my specials and my, uh, my lunch specials and breakfast specials. And four years ago, I wanted to get uh, involved in the Operation Santa Claus. I had already been donating uh, as part of the auction, charity auction that they do uh, breakfast for two once a month for a year and that was fun and it was great but it got me involved in their auction and their their actual fundraising I wanted to do something different I didn't want to do the toys uh, that's that's their the radio station's job I, I, I wanted to give back to the community um, so I decided to get involved in, in, in purchasing the coats hat and mittens for the children in their community four years ago we we started out small we raised about seventeen hundred dollars following year was close to ten thousand dollars then last year I had a lot more opportunity to put some more effort into it so I had set myself a goal last year of seventeen thousand um, dollars which we ended up raising twenty one thousand last year and we outfitted three hundred and six three hundred ninety six kids last year it was very successful very rewarding and a lot of fun so this year I decided to raise the bar a little bit further I want to clothe and outfit 400 kids so we raised the bar to twenty two thousand dollars um, we're about two and a half, almost three weeks into it right now. Uh, we've raised a little over 15000 so far, so I, I'm very confident we'll reach our $22,000 goal this year. I, I named my, my fundraiser uh, the Small Business Challenge, and what I do is I get in the radio station every morning. I sat down day one and I wrote a checkout for Operation Santa Claus from Sam's Diner for $100, and every morning I asked the area businesses 
to match my hundred dollar donation and this is how this whole thing started and it's uh, naturally we get bigger donations from some and smaller donations from other but it all counts it all adds up and uh, it's all about the kids keeping them warm there's hundreds of people Jerry and I have never met they go out and shop for the actual item the actual snowsuit the actual size shoe for 2,500 kids, they go out and do the shopping and it gets to the kids. It's, it's pretty amazing uh, how it works. We raise the money and then we have volunteers that go out and do it. The need is assessed by the schools, then it comes to us and we used to do this without computers. Now we have computers of course and we see if they're getting help from somewhere else and it's, and so the- uh, Try to avoid the duplication. Exactly. Exactly, and it has to be, uh, the need has to be there. We've, we've had applications that we've denied because you have to be, you know, you have to really, really be in need. I'd say 30 some odd years ago was in the paper that the Sagamore was looking, uh, taking applications, write a letter, who would be the neediest uh, for, uh, for a Christmas ball, who, and they were judging the letters. And ours got chosen, Jerry wrote the letter telling them what we do and what the need is, and the Sagamore chose us, and there was gonna be a different organization each year. So we had our first Santa Claus ball 30 some odd years ago, and then the second year it went to someone else, and they weren't selling any tickets. And so they asked us if we'd come back, and we've been there ever since. So when we have this ball every year, Jerry Eichen is the one that put it in place, and. Uh, it's still going, it, and it annually raises uh, 30, 30, 30 to thirty-five thousand dollars each year. It's a great social event too. Yeah, just draws yes. a tremendous number of people from the area that are supportive of Operation Santa Claus, or they want a, a party yeah. at Christmas time. So it's 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 well Some done. Some people buy tables of ten, and they would have their office party at the right. Chimney Ball. Right. We've had wedding guests. We've had. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All sorts of different activities yeah. as a spin-off yeah. from the charity ball. One of my former students joined us last year. Uh, he used to help us when Jerry was with us on the run. He was a water boy and it's Todd, Todd Monahan. Remember I drink yep. Todd every... Yep. And uh, Todd is very uh, computer literate. And Todd got us up and running this year for the first time. <clears throat> We're on... Uh, uh, we have a Facebook, we have a site, and if you go to Adirondack Operation Santa org. You can find us, and you can register for the run there, or you can uh, uh, purchase tickets to the ball there too. And the ball is December tenth, hundred dollars per person, and uh, it's at the Sagamore. But we are on the computer now, thanks to uh, thanks to Todd.